I think this is going to be a tradition in all of my holiday vlogs from now on onwards. Sitting here talking to you while I'm waiting for my mask. My skin really needs it today. Um, you know, I've kind of touched it in the last couple of days but not sleeping enough at all. Yeah, it's not very early in the morning but my voice is very coarse because I'm super tired. I haven't slept enough at all. I didn't vlog anything in my in-laws house last night because I feel very awkward trying to vlog in front of people. Even when I do it in front of my mother and Lakshman, they not necessarily make fun, they kind of tease, you know, so yeah, I just wanted to avoid that and I'm not very sure how much of the rest of my family I want to show, especially the little kids and everything, you know, so yeah, I, I didn't vlog at all. We had a good time last night, I came back, Leva had a very late night <coughs> last night, I don't know what is going to happen tonight, but what I wanted to say was, all of us adults in this house had a very late night last night because we were still preparing for Christmas dinner. 15 dishes is no joke. I have no idea why we came up with 15 dishes. And we had to start preparing so much more earlier, doing shopping one day, chopping everything one day, cooking across two days. And my mother is still cooking downstairs now. I couldn't take it last night. I was like, no, I'm too tired. And I went to bed at 12 and my mom was still cooking when I left. She was still doing something. I've been thinking a lot about how much we eat over Christmas throughout last night. <clears throat> By God's grace, we are blessed. We don't have to struggle or suffer for anything, especially for food and, you know, basic necessities and everything. Well, we are blessed with more than basic necessities. So I don't understand why we make it a point to overeat over Christmas. Throughout the year, we are fine. We have everything that we want. We can go out and eat. We can cook at home, we can do everything. But just this week, we choose to cook so much in one day and consume everything in that same day. What is the meaning of it even? I mean, it's Christmas. It's meant to be time that you spend with your family, that you relax because you're off from work, you're off from studies, you're off from your regular scheduling and everything. But we've just overworked ourselves trying to prepare for this Christmas dinner, trying to make it picture perfect. Me especially, I want it picture perfect. And then <clears throat> with all of the dishes and stuff, and I'm like, what is the point even? Next year, I think we're just gonna fast over Christmas, forget it. Either fast or one pot meal, or maybe two dishes. End of story, nothing else, nothing more. It's like, I really don't see why we do this to ourselves. Now, the more I think of it, the more I regret wanting to do this much, wanting to have a lavish spread. It's it, yeah, it's truly not like we haven't had it before and we must have it now. We don't have to overeat over Christmas. We don't have to go overboard trying to make everything perfect. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Picture perfect is... Uh, picture perfect is a trend these days because of social media and stuff. But yeah, we I truly need to work on it. My family and I need to work. On, on what we're doing. We don't do this every year, but it's getting extensive over the years, definitely. Merry Christmas! It's finally the 25th of December. It feels as if we've waited all year for this day, but it also feels as if it was really, really quick, you know? It's just this confusing state of mind. However, it is the 25th of December today, we went to church in the morning. We were rushing, as always, but we went to church in the morning. I got to see so many of my friends whom I haven't met in such a long time. We saw them, spoke to them, but we were rushing to come back because we wanted to finish our preparation for lunch here since we're having Christmas lunch with the rest of the family in my mother's house. So I didn't stay very long and didn't chat for very long with everyone, but I was blown away by the amount of love that people showed us. This is the first time they're seeing Levi. Um, and this is the first time I'm seeing them after two years. They didn't see me last year when I was pregnant. They didn't see us the year before. It's like it was such a long gap in between, you know, and yet they showed so much love. They were so nice, so genuine. They brought so many gifts for Levi. This boy, he is very, very loved. He's not spoiled. I would never say he's spoiled. He's just very loved. And he obviously doesn't appreciate any gifts yet. He's only eight and a half months now. He doesn't understand it. But I truly appreciate people's gener generosity and thoughtfulness, especially. It's not something that I expect from anyone at all. 
I didn't expect anything. So when I went today and people started giving us gifts, and these were a lot of them were my mother's friends and not necessarily my friends, you know, people whom I've not met while they were here or while I was here rather. But they bought so much gifts for us, and I obviously wasn't prepared for it. So I didn't have anything to carry all of those back. Ended up taking some plastic bag from there, and I looked like Santa lugging this huge plastic bag full of toys for Levi. But yeah, we will try and open it maybe tonight or tomorrow. But we already have some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We already have nine paper bags full of gifts for Levi from this whole week. I think I showed in previous vlogs. I haven't opened anything at all yet. These are just from friends, not from family yet. The family gifts will probably be coming later today. We are full on underway with our last minute preps and everything. There are two dishes that my mother is making at the moment. Lakshman and my mom are talking about it, doing taste tests and stuff. So that's the two things that she's doing. I need to go and reheat a few things, transfer it to saving dishes and put it in the dining table. I'm just going to show you the layout of everything. It looks really, really chaotic in the kitchen. I'm waiting for Lakshman to report to duty for dishes and cutting fruits for something else for the dessert later on. And I'm going to do everything else. Leva has slept so early. Early meaning, um, this is much earlier than his regular nap time now. He's just super tired. So he's gone to sleep. So we've got another hour, maybe, or at least 40 minutes to try and sort everything out. Lunch preparation is all still underway, all that underneath the table. They've all been cooked already. I need to transfer all of those things onto these serving dishes here. And some things are still going on. My mom is making the last bit of paniaram and something else that she's doing. Dining table is ready, except for that last one. We need to move it back there. And this is where most of the food is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that a family What's song? going on? Family song. <laughs> this is family secret as so much attention. Bye. <laughs> you want to open this? Cake for breakfast? Don't mind me if I do. We are all set. Oh, yes, you are. You are excited, aren't you? Look at my cutie baby. And look at that waterproof nappy. Apparently, that's a swimming nappy. I've never used it before. Are you excited? He's so excited. And I am so excited. Unfortunately, I am not going in today because. If I go in, everyone will be swimming um, in the Red Sea. So it's only Lakshman and Levi and my in-laws, obviously, are already in there. All I wanted was to bring Levi out to Silverburn so he can look at some lights and you know different scenery and everything and because Silverburn is indoor, I thought it would be better as opposed to being outdoors in the cold. But I don't know what happened, we got delayed, it took some time, we got agitated in the car and now we've been walking and walking and walking looking for a place to park ourselves so that I can feed him. I can't fit his booster seat in any random place. And we can't seem to find any place where we can sit. It was super crowded. I didn't expect it to be crowded today. I thought everyone would be relaxing at home, chilled and everything. 
But it looks like everyone else had the same idea as us. Everyone is out and about. It is a very very miserable day, isn't it? Such a dull day. I mean, it's Scotland, it's Glasgow, what do you expect? And it's end of December, so... <laughs> Yesterday we had nice sunny weather for a while. That is already a big deal. Uh, today it's, it's expected. We are all under the weather today. Our friend here is teething. I can't believe how quickly he's teething. Just two weeks ago, he had two teeth pop up. Now, something else is popping up. I don't even know where. I haven't figured it out yet. But he's teething. So he's got a slight temperature because of that. He's been biting and chewing everything possible. That sound in the background is my mother making ginger tea. All of us in the house are under the weather. Not COVID, just regular cold. Regular winter cold. Um, she's making ginger tea for the two of them. Apparently that's helping them recover. I don't drink ginger tea. I don't drink tea. Ooh. And this wiggly baby needs to have some care for his teething. What a day this has been. I wanted to check in with you quickly, otherwise there wouldn't be any point to this week's vlog at all. It's almost 11 o'clock at night at the moment. Everyone is sleeping already. I should have gone to bed also, but yeah, I really wanted to check in with you. Today's agenda was to relax and stay put at home. Nothing else. But what we ended up doing was rearrange the living room in the house and the attic as well. Um, rearrange meaning rearrange all of the furniture, the TV cabinets and stuff. It just kind of happened spontaneously as in we had already started doing bits and pieces, you know, like yesterday or something like that. And we didn't intend to do so many other things today. But because we had just started, I didn't pick up my camera to record anything to show you the before. So it doesn't really make sense to show you the after because it's going to be difficult to explain. And it wouldn't really make sense if you can't see the before, um, you know, when I show you the after. Anyway. There's really no point in showing you how it looks like now. It looks very different. It looks so much more better. My mother wanted to change her sofa in the living room. She's been wanting to do this for quite some time. And she wanted to do this over summer. I started looking for new sofas for her to replace the existing one. And I advertised the existing sofas in Facebook Marketplace to sell. And I've already got several buyers. They want to come and pick it up this Friday. Now, we have a debate going on. I want to change it. Lakshman doesn't want to change it. My mother is now on the fence. She's undecided now. Now that we've rearranged the sofa, it feels as if it's a lot more spacious and there's a lot more room as well. So now she's like reconsidering whether she wants to sell it or not. And because I'm already fixated on changing the entire thing, I'm like, you know what, go ahead and change it, go ahead and change it. But at the end of the day, I only come like very rarely now because of the pandemic we've only come once a year before this we used to come like four or five times a year so i only come really rarely and mother is paying for it it's not me i am going to be swiping her credit card so <laughs> lakshman is like you know what it's not fair you were not paying for it your mother was going to pay for it and you know it's really not necessary and stuff but i somehow feel that these sofas are no longer in fashion and it doesn't suit this house. It's not appropriate for, you know, this living room, the size of it, the color and everything. It just, she needs an upgrade. Come on, how many years is she going to be staring at this, these sofas? She's had this since 2014. Six, seven, eight years. No, okay, seven and a half years. Okay, not eight years yet. But seven and a half years. She needs a change. Um, so, yeah, we've got that ongoing debate and we haven't decided yet. I think tomorrow morning, hopefully, my mother will make a decision and then I need to let... The people know because they want to come and pick it up either on friday or saturday oh friday is the day after actually yeah i i yeah we need to be quick about it but other than that i wanted to film what levi got for christmas um we did secret santa this year in our family so we only had to buy for one other person rather than buying for everyone 
I didn't want, I really didn't want to explain so many things for each other. And I feel like we are really, really contributing to um, consumerism. And I wasn't happy about it at all. You know, so much wastage, so much unnecessary, ugh, I can't talk, so much unnecessary stuff. Because I feel like with us, with me and Lakshmi, we don't really do birthday gifts and Christmas gifts anymore. We just buy things as and when we want. And we don't do anything for our anniversary at all. Uh, we used to do trips and this year it's like yeah we did one trip for my birthday and anniversary we didn't because Levi was born <laughs> so yeah I mean it really doesn't make sense with our family we buy things as and when we want it and we need it we don't really wait for birthdays or Christmases or any occasions to give to each other and when you give something to someone sometimes you know if it's clothes the size is tricky if it's things their preference is also tricky, it's challenging. So we decided this year we were not going to do it at all. Only gifts for the kids and secret Santa for everyone. So I got one gift, which I'm very happy with. Levi got a lot because it's his first Christmas, not only from family, from a lot of people. I told you this in the previous vlogs as well. Um, we had people visiting him and we have a lot of friends here in Glasgow so everyone was so eager, so generous and so kind to shower their love um, to give Levi so many gifts. He's got two paper bags full of gifts and in fact I'm staring at it here. Let me show you that. Those two paper bags are full of Levi's gifts. Um, one is full of clothes and the other one is toys and obviously the one in front of it as well ignore the nappy and everything else on top of that I was wondering if you would want to see what Levi got for Christmas um, let me know if you would actually like to see it because I don't want to I don't want to appear as if I'm showing off but I want it to be helpful for other people because I watch other people's videos and I know it's really helpful for me so to start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my It was only our car that was full to the brim but we stopped at the service station and every other car around us is also full to the brim i suppose it is kind of normal because it is right after christmas now isn't it um when we went our boot was full but the car was fine but on our way back now we have got no more space in the car literally and my in-laws were like time for a four by four well i've been trying to tell luxury on that because i want a lot more boot space and i want a higher car obviously so that it's so much more easier to drive um but regardless we stopped at the service station we took a stop much sooner than we expected because levi kind of got hot in his car seat and we thought we're going back home let's just take a break um you know feed him and everything he's happily chilling and i wanted to close this vlog i really enjoyed filming everything although i kind of caught this week maybe last week a little bit of things but it was so nice to look at everything, you know, keepsake and memories and, and all. All in all, it was such a nice trip. It was so nice to come back after a year to see everyone and for Levi to come and see the place. Initially, the first few days when we were here, he refused to go to anyone else at all. He was crying most of the time. And we were so upset that he was crying so much in the first two or three days in Glasgow than he had in the last eight months, literally all his life, you know. But towards the end of the first week, or maybe beginning of the second week, he warmed up really easily. So he goes to both the mothers easily, he goes to my in-laws. He obviously loves the children, my, my nieces love him. The first one especially always spends time with him and everything. And he was so friendly with people that he sees, everyone else. He smiles at everyone. It was a very nice trip, it was a very memorable trip and it was... Very difficult to say goodbye to the family, obviously. 
we don't know when our next trip is going to be we don't know when they are going to come down to bristol next but whatever it may be we we are very grateful for this opportunity that we had that we were able to spend so much time with them um but yeah that's it actually i am going to end this vlog now i hope you enjoyed um watching all of these vlogs i hope you enjoyed the trip with us and i hope you had a good time too you know with your family or friends or whatever your plan was over christmas if this is the first video of mine that you're watching i've been vlogging the whole month of december that's levi i've been vlogging the whole month of december for keepsake and this is the first time i've been doing anything in this capacity i usually do like sit down videos and sometimes vlog something if you're going somewhere not like every week like this at all um follow me on youtube my instagram and you know message me if you want to ask something or say something um, and yeah i'll catch you in the next video bye do you want to say bye bye bye